What's going on YouTube? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Welcome back to another Wind City episode and on this episode I'm going to show you how to catch perch on your body of water. So we're going to be using two different methods today. Alright guys, by the way don't mind my messy garage. I'm filming from my garage which is just a pigsty right now. But I got here, I don't know how good you can see it, but this is the Bass Pro Shops Micro Elite. It's got a nice Micro Elite reel on there. I think it's a size 10 I would assume. And I got it spooled up with 6 pound fluorocarbon. Now fluorocarbon, why? Because it is the most sensitive, it has no stretch and it's very transparent in the water. So rig wise, so right there I got a size 11 hook. I don't know how good you can see it. Size 11 hook. I'm not quite sure the exact measurements on this sinker but you can just tell it's just a small sinker. So what this rig is called as you guys may know is a drop shot rig. Sinker at the bottom. Hook at the top. It's about 10 inches from the sinker. So right here I got my little pack of hooks. This is what I use for my drop shot rig. As you can see, it comes with all the different sizes, 3 to 12. So we got all those different sizes. What I'm going to be using as a trailer, I got these baits right here. We got three options today. If they want a white color bait today, I got the Strike King, Mr. Cap. Freaking motorcycles love ripping down my road. But anyways, let me try to focus this in here. Alrighty. So, these are Strike King. There we go. And the color is Glimmer Blue. So this is like a white with a blue tint to it. And it's just a nice minnow imitator. That's all I'm going to be using today is minnow imitators. Why? Because... Sorry guys, give me a second here. Why minnow imitators? Well, it's because they are running right now. It is spring, the minnows are running, they're spawning just like every other fish. So if that doesn't work, we go to the short truce version of the lightning shot. There you guys go. Excuse the dogs barking. But, it's just the same bait except short truce. You want to have different colors just to experiment, see what they want. And then of course, last but not least, we have Mike's 2 inch tickler. It's just a black back, green stomach, and it's got black speckles in there. So they're all pretty much the same bait, except different colors, but same idea. You put that on the top hook of your drop shot rig and you work it as you would a regular drop shot. Just twitch it away. So pretty much all you do is you cast this rig out with your trailer, with your minnow imitator. You could use a leech imitator, whatever you choose. Whatever your bread and butter is. So you just cast this rig out there and you just twitch it back to you. Just simply twitch it back. It's very simple. Now, if that does not work, and the fish are being finicky. I know the water is pretty stained today. We had a lot of high winds. My second plan for that is I'm going to be using live bait. Now I'll show you guys really quick this crazy thing right here. This is a minnow net. It's a circular net. I'm not sure how good you can see it. But it's basically a dip net. Throw it out there, let it sink to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. That's a huge important rule. And right here I have my rope. It's, uh, as you can tell, very organized. Let it sink to the bottom, and then you lift it back up. I got no bread today. I know a lot of guys like to use the bread, but I'm not going to be using that today. I'm just going to let it sink to the bottom, lift it up really quick, hopefully, hoping to catch a nice dozen or two minnows, maybe more. Sometimes you can really get into them good. But for that, I have, I got this big old ugly stick rod with a size 10 reel, 6 pound line, huge ugly stick rod. And right here, 
It's almost the same idea as the drop shot, but it's just a spreader. A lot of guys call it the pickle rig. As you can see right there. Got a hook right there. And then a big old sinker right there. Now you guys may think this is too big, but I mean for spreader fishing with minnows, you really want to have that rig sitting on the bottom and stationary. Not moving at all, just sitting there. So that extra weight is going to help my rig stay there on the bottom. Alright guys, so I've showed you what we're going to be using today. The drop shot rig and the spreader rig. We got the minnow net, the minnow dip net, just to try to catch some minnows, some live bait. And yeah, we're going to see how we do today. I'll meet you guys on the water. So I've made it to the spot and we are about to start fishing. Yes, this is where I'm going to be fishing today. Just a nice canal off the Detroit River and oh, hello there cutie. Look at this guy here. As you guys can see the water is pretty clean. Just a little bit, just a, a super tad cloudy. Alright guys, so really quick I want to show you a tip when you're fishing out here with plastics. As you guys can see I got my plastic right there and my drop shot rig. So right here, I got a little scent stick. It's almost like a chapstick, but it's fishing scent, if I can get it open. It's fishing scent for bait. So you guys can see it right there. This is the minnow scent. So you want every advantage you can get out here. You guys, uh, you know, anything that can help you out, any little thing, it's good to have. So we're gonna take our little scent stick. We're just gonna apply it generously on that bait. You guys can see it going on there. So that's just gonna add a little extra edge to our presentation. You know, they're gonna smell that scent. They're gonna hold on to this bait much longer and you're gonna have more time to set that hook. This is called uh, Bite Stick Classic. This is called Bite Stick Classic, right there. If you guys were wondering what I was using, it's just an awesome little scent stick. Just apply your baits and that's pretty much it. You guys can just see my mess right here, but I'm gonna whip out the drop shot, give her a dangle. I'm gonna start off with the Mike's two inch tickler. Yes, sir. Fishing complete. Getting laughed at by these birds already. Didn't even throw a line in the water yet. Alright, here we go. Please don't snag up. As you guys can see, all rigged up. fix this so that the hook is a little more to the back in case they want to just nip the tail there's still some hook exposed you guys can see that drop shot rig right there first cast of the evening here goes nothing just got torqued as I was on the phone as per usual, the only times you get bites right. There's one. First fish of the day on the drop shot rig. Little juvenile perch. That Mike's two inch tickler. Damn, it is slow. Oh, there's one. Oh, good hit. Oh, decent one. 
fatty. Decent little guy. Throw him in your fish tail. I don't know. Throw that's that's back. a bit small. Yeah, I was gonna say that. I mean, like if you wanted to, you could, but that's too much work. Yeah. It's got the right shoulders though. It's gonna be a hog. Some of the ones that we were catching the other day, man. Beautiful, eh? There's an off-camera fish. Actually, a keeper, eh? Yeah. Keep this? Yeah. That'd be tough time cleaning, though. That's a little slow. Yeah. We need, like, the big jumbos. The big slab daddy donkeys. Yeah, you're gonna I have just to go want to give her a nice little toss out there. Let her sink to the bottom there. And you wait. <laughs> Some people like to use bread, but that's cheating. And here comes nothing. There's Not nothing even. No duh. What is that? All right guys, it is getting late. I am getting really cold out here. And it's not very productive out here actually. It's really slow. So we're gonna pack everything up. We're gonna head on home. Hope you guys learned a few things from today's episode. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Have a beautiful day and an even better day. Peace.